Have you ever wondered how much silver you could possibly farm on a brand new character and what the best way to do it is? Well, right now, rough stone prices are completely out of control. I have a new character here. I'm going to go ahead and start. I have not done a, t a fresh tutorial run on a new character in quite some time. I used to be able to speedrun this. I got very close to the world record by like something like four seconds, um, but <laughs> it's been a long time since I've done this. So together... We're going to see how much, just how much silver we can make just uh, harvesting rough stones. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is, well, I'm just going to play the tutorial a little bit more normal. So continue, accept, accept, uh, yeah, I'll just run up here, fine. I'll do the gathering stuff later. I remember in my speedruns I would gather first, um, but it's been, it's been way too long. I know there's a helmet over there, or there used to be a helmet over there, but I guess it's not there anymore. Uh, also interesting, if you run halfway up the stairs, it resets your run cooldown, so that's cool. Uh, so now it wants me to harvest. Though I remember doing this before get, getting to this step so I can instantly turn it in, because otherwise you have to double back to the NPC twice. But this is not a speedrun video for doing the tutorial. This is merely... Um, <laughs> we need to gather some more, because we're going to need more of these when we get to the main little tutorial section. So I remember I gather all of these and I gather a little bit more. Uh, that way we save time later. Let's go ahead and run back to the dude. Turn that good, in. Good. And, uh, you know, this is this is part of the time, too. Okay, craft that. And then he wants us to uh, equip it. I've Put the skill on now. He'll give us a shield. There we go. We've equipped it. Uh, now it wants us to go to the gates, but we don't want to do that just yet. So we'll grab that stone and grab that stone. And then I think I need two woods. That is not a full wood. Yeah, there's one up here. Maybe just one wood. Yeah, that gives us six. I, I think that's fine. Otherwise, there's plenty of wood in the in the starter zone. It's fine. It's totally cool. And we can go ahead and kite these dudes. Go ahead and pop that if we want. I'm going to yoink that anyway. We want to kite these up pretty damn far. Grab the silvers. And I'm going to try to run through the next zone before the tutorial. Uh... Opens my screen. There we go. So that's how we do that. Pretty easy stuff. And there we go. We skipped one whole screen, which does save us a bit of time. Well, maybe. Maybe they fixed it. There used to be a glitch. If you ran into the new zone, you wouldn't see the, the screen. Buy the mule. Skip, skip. And there we go. We have our first mule. Go ahead, equip, mount that up. I don't need the helmet. Who cares? Who wants it? I don't want it. And now we begin... The tutorial section we're at two minutes in okay it wants us to craft the tools so there we go craft the pickaxe craft the axe we already got the materials from the previous screen done and done open the map skip that turn that in i still have it i still have it kind of under muscle memory what's it want me to do go to the forest okay this is the part where i think we skin foxes right i think we, yeah we skin a fox or something i i don't remember but we're gonna get to the point where we, we're basically done with the tutorial Skin the foxes. There we go. I should change my Q spell, but it's fine. And this guy's gonna help me kill this fox. Maybe not. Maybe he understands how mob tagging works in the MMOs. I don't know, but we uh, we do want a little bit extra foxes so that we can uh, make ourselves a bag. So I'm gonna get a little bit more foxes. This guy's gonna run over and help me kill this. Thanks, pal, but it's my fox to skin because I dealt more damage to it, so... He's just a helpful, friendly little guy. He doesn't know what he's doing yet. Maybe he'll figure it out one day. Maybe he watches my videos and he's in the video. Hey, sorry, but I uh, I chopped that one first, so the resources are mine. That's okay. One more hit on the birch and ta-da. Turn to the camp. Yeehaw, partner. I don't think I have enough for the bag, but we can always do that later. Or whatever. I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's see how much uh, <laughs> silver we can make. In a reasonable amount of time doing this. Look at that. It's nice and empty. There's only two people doing it right now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that later. Let's see. Go to the mountains. Yes. Then we must gather fiber and ore. It's interesting that the game teaches you gathering is the very first thing. It doesn't teach you like combat or, or, or you know, I, I don't know. It's like uh, <laughs> the game is forcing us to become gatherers in uh, in the new age where uh, premium costs too damn much. Which is true. That's just how it is. I'm going to get a little bit more of uh, of the cotton here because so I can make a bag, which the game doesn't teach you how to do. But hey, you're allowed to do it in the tutorial zone, so you might as well get that tier 2 bag. Then we just need two hits on the copper, and we are all set. 
There we go, got it. All right, and uh, for those who don't know, I'm just using this as a, this is what, the reason the character's name is Focus Benji 2. It's just a focus alt. I'm gonna use 30,000 focus on this later and do it for refining things or something. Whatever I feel like, really, and uh, that's gonna make me a bunch of money, but for the for the moment, let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial. Get that done. Stiff leather. Light of that, mate, yeah. He, he does saw wood. This is his job. I wish I had a job sawing wood. It'd be, it'd be pretty cool, man, but sadly, sadly not. Alright, complete that. Equip. Oh, I didn't get the soup yet. Now I have the soup. Alright. Go to the outpost and steal the heretic map. Skip that. Don't need to do that. And skip. Awesome stuff. Now we go to the heretic area. And we uh, steal the map. Even though it was our map to begin with, so it's not really stealing, it's more like repossessing, I believe. Maybe, I don't know, but here we go. Uh, we just go over here to this encampment because it's, it's the fastest one. We can grab the most dudes. Grab these guys. Grab. Do, do these not aggro? What the heck? I don't want the shield guys. The shield guys kind of suck. Okay, we got one anyway. Use refreshing sprints. That is not refreshing sprints, but whatever. It's fine. Gonna use this little shield now, and there we go. So we are going to actually eat that so that we can mass pull. I don't have my mount right now. I uh, I would prefer not to get the wizards, but uh, it's fine. As long as I'm hitting both wizards at the same time. And I probably should have healed a bit more, but it's it's okay. It's the tutorial zone. It's not really that important. Up our heels, our cabbage soup should be kicking in just any other. Yeah, All right. And just a few more now. Should be using them out for this. It's fine, though. Go ahead and clear this wizard while attacking with our AOEQ spell. Get some autos in on this guy. We should all die. Oh, I missed. I missed one hit. Okay, there we go. And then while we do this, we hit learn. There we go. And we completed the map at the same time while we had our menuing done. But it's going to freeze us in place there. And so we can't move just yet. Uh, if you're mounted up, I think you can skip the freeze, but I don't remember. It's been a while. And our donkey getting stabbed in the hindquarters. Not fun for the donkey, but it's okay. Because mounts in this game, when they die, they just poof open a, in a bag of air of smoke. I don't know. They just turn to dust, and uh, then they, they you conjure them out of nowhere. I guess we have dimensional portal inventories. I'm not sure how it works. And now we're going to turn this in and get our cape, I believe, which I'm not sure why we would just get a cape. It's like, oh, are you cold? Here's a cape, bro. Okay. And now we got to go talk to all these dweebs, which... Uh, you know, if we wanted to craft the gear, which, why would you do that? Why would you craft the gear, okay? That's silly. Don't need to do that. And complete, except, let's go over here. Um, let's see. That's not who I wanted to talk to. It's this one. Alright, so we're gonna go with... It doesn't really matter too much. Cloth, this plate, and then we want leather. You technically would I mean, you don't really have to have this exact build, but I don't have enough silver for that. Yikes. Uh, so I need to go pick up more silver. I guess I didn't do that. It's fine, though. Stay honest. So, we got the armor part completed. I get, Did they nerf silver drops or something? Isn't that funny? Here, let's go repair from this dude. Break your stuff again. And, uh, yeah, I gotta go kill more mobs to pick up more silver. Uh, which is, uh, unusual. I don't remember having to do that, so, um... We definitely... Bow is definitely the fastest way to kill mobs, but, um... You know, at this point, we're not going to need much. We, we can just AoE pull, like, a whole bunch of dudes and uh, kill them all. Easy peasy, right? And uh, they're nice and respawned. Go ahead and grab, grab. I'll take shields. Give me the shields. No, those de -aggroed. Oh, my precious time. See, speedrun's already ruined. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to grab all those. So, go ahead and knock them back for that damage. All right, give me your silver. I swear they nerfed start. They must have nerfed starter silver because I guess maybe bots were farming it or something. I don't know. I find that a little unusual, but it's whatever. And uh, now my skills are on cooldown because I <laughs> opened the menu mid battle. 
That's okay. Just need to get a bow. That way we don't need an offhand or nothing. We're at 88 silver. Grab all these dudes. Just grab all of them, you know? And then make sure we just AoE in the big circle. Oh, let's just stand in the circle. Why not, right? Just stand in the explosions. Okay, is that enough silver? That's 144. We only need 128. There's no journey back, uh, interesting enough, uh, in the tutorial zone, which I have not done the tutorial since the journey back was introduced in the game a while back. All right, we're at 10 minutes now. We haven't made any progress, so... Um, 10 minutes, I can make several hundred thousand on my main characters, but what about new characters? New characters don't have a main character. They can just go farm several hundred thousand in 10 minutes. Uh, oh, well. Uh, that guy's... He's got... He even built a stone hammer, which at tier 2, it doesn't really increase it that fast. Uh, give me bow. Yes, that completes quest. There we go. Put on cape, and now we go to the fort in the mountains. And I will be back for the stone, Mr. High Damage 669. Hopefully you're not hogging stone too hard, but um, also we need to need to make a bag. I think I think I think I need nine leathers instead of eight. I don't know, but we're gonna go ahead and oh I need to select skills here. Oops, that not really the optimal choice, but it's fine. And then we're going to dismount a route out here so we get our cooldowns. Oh wait, that's not a thing anymore. I can just pre-charge them. It's been a while since I've done tutorial speedruns. Obviously, we're at 11 something minutes, so I've already failed the speedrun. The world record's like 9 something minutes. Pretty cool. It is. It's it's super cool, you guys. Go ahead and shotgun them. Charge this stuff up. Shotgun him. Reapply our e buff, and then we have to kill more. Eh, wrong buttons. Kill more heretics. Okay, those guys are all taken right now. There should be a big cluster up here. Pull those guys, pull those guys. Interrupt his heals. Do the healing boots. Boop those guys back because why wouldn't we? Go ahead and reflect. And yeah, we're actually taking a lot of damage here. I don't remember these dudes being this tough. Can I, can I escape on the mountain? No, I'm going down. I'm going down in the tutorial zone, guys. <laughs> I pulled too many or something. It's, it's been a long time since I've done this. Uh, did they buff them maybe? I don't, I don't know. But uh, we got a nice, some nice spam names at the top here we can admire, like TSGFZHGHGI. Uh, they, they ran out of my screen, so I can't, I can't talk about the names anymore. Okay, and uh, hey, look, we made some silver. <laughs> Yoink, did silver. All right, not, not that we're repairing the gear anyway. Whatever, we'll just uh, fight these the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I feel like I'm doing less damage than before, but I don't know. Maybe Fire Staff is the new meta for speedrunning this, because uh, the new Pyroblast, you know, might be pretty cool. And I'm also in leather. I should be in uh, cloth armor, so I deal more damage. But I don't think it really matters this much at the, uh, at the start of the game. Okay, there we go. Now we do the distraction by letting, lighting the thing on fire, which is over here. Which, Gerdeman, you know, he's, he's he's doing something there. There we go. And now we go to this corner, set fire to the storage. There was one, the, the whole reason I'm testing this too is, there was a guy in the comments that said when he tried to go back to town, it wouldn't let him. So that would be weird if they patched that, okay? So we go there. And now let's get to the pier! So once we go in there, we can't ever go back. Oh, they got little music now. Look at that. A little fanfare, like, you did it! You beat the tutorial, bro. Uh, but realistically, yeah, don't... Don't, don't leave. Don't, don't leave the tutorial. <laughs> uh, you should absolutely go farm rough stone now. That's what I'm about to go do, and we're gonna find out how much more we can make in, I guess, the next 15 minutes. I don't know. I think 15 minutes is a good amount of time for farming. See how, Just see how much the new players can make. And uh, we're just going to throw out all our tools here because we don't need them. You know, yes, I am aware I can salvage these for rough stones for like 1 to 2. Bro, I don't need that. Just don't need them. Okay. So bag and then stone time. That's right. Well, uh, let's see. What do we got? Bag time. I need 12. I guess I, we'll just not do a bag then. Oh, it's depleted, guys. Alright, get over here and, uh... <laughs> uh yoink the stones. They're my stones. But yeah, look at look at our... 
Look at our estimated silver that we're going to be making in the bottom here. 2,300. I click like two buttons. 2,700. It's really good for new players. 3,000, 3,200. And uh, yeah, we're not letting these grow up to two. We're not getting full harvest. Throw that out. And uh, he's going to grab that. Yeah, this uh, this Heat of Mage 69, he knows what he's doing. He knows the strat. The new player strat. Yep, he is a smart one. He watches the videos. Or maybe he figured it out on his own, man. I don't know. I, you know, just because I'm the first guy to make a video about doing this strat doesn't mean that, uh, you know, everyone that also does it watches my stuff. You never know, though. <laughs> you never know when Bidji will be among you harvesting the rocks in the rock circle. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, de decent money here, and uh, where are we at? We're at fifth. We're almost at 16 minutes. Okay, so we we could technically do this for 45 more minutes, and we would be so much wealthier than many other new players. Uh, <laughs> oh man, but uh, can we stand doing this for for 45 more minutes? I don't know, guys. Oh man, he stole it. Oh. It's, it's like it, it, it does a little double swing. It's, a little, it's interesting. Double. Oh, that's my stone. That's also my stone. I am beating this Artreon guy every time. It, oh, am I going to get that one? I think, I, yeah, I got that one. See, oh, he his, his actual hammer? Look at that. His hammer came in handy. That one time. It, he was able to steal the rock from me once. Even though I, click, I clicked it about the same time as him. Must be real. But look at that, I'm already up to 10k? There's there's a lot of new players. Dude, I've been reading a lot of things from new players that are like, Oh, it's my third day and I have 10,000 silver. How am I doing, Reddit? And I'm just like, oh no, you poor thing. You didn't watch the videos because Reddit told you not to. And now you're paying the price. Paying the ultimate price. <laughs> uh... It's interesting because, uh, you know, with the estimated market value thing now in your inventory, you can just stop at 100,000 and, you know, go to the mainland if you want. Or not, it's fine. I mean, if anything, people should really, like, get their gathering up while they're here because it's just super plentiful. I kind of wonder, too, like, uh, because Tier 2 Leather uh, is... or Tier 2 Hide is actually pretty good uh, uh, starting out also. If that's a valid strategy, if this little circle is, like, too busy with players, but... I really should have filmed this when it was, uh, not prime time, so there would be less people here doing the circle of stone. But it's, it's okay. It's okay, because this is the average, this is what the average player is going to experience when they do this strat. Is they're gonna come here for stone, and so is everyone else. And, yeah, he got that one. Okay. It's, uh, I would have way more if this this guy wasn't here too, but uh, it's fine, you know, you gotta share. It is a plentiful stone circle, you know. In the old days, there was this one big fat stone that was like infinite, and you could just like click on it in AFK. And uh, you know what people would do is, like it drove stone prices to nothing, which is where it should be. Let's be real. Uh, but because they made it a circle now that would slowly respawns, uh, now it's, you know, it's worth hundreds. <laughs> Like, estimated market value of one stone is 177 right now, which is way more valuable than a lot of tier 5 raw materials. It's really stupid to think about. But that's just how- that's- that's the truth. That's how it is, man. It's just... <laughs> uh, people were building a bunch of crap in Brazilian, so the prices went up, and no one's really, you know... I don't know, the- the demand is just there. It's just how it is. I could use my run boots so I can run over here and get this one. Yeah. Grab and grab. We are synchronizing our stone grabbing. Look at that. It's like, I've got this quadrant, bro. Oh, is he... He's, uh... He left his perch up here. I'm gonna go yoink it. Yeehaw. Oh, he's going for the long one. That gives me this one. Maybe the bottom one? Nah. Uh, get this one, though. Oh... And yes, I could be using Donkey to, uh, you know, move between stones faster. I, I'm aware of that, but, but man, that sound gets annoying after a while. It really does. Super duper does. Yeah, me and he, he the mage. we are going to be successful characters right now. 
super successful bros. Look at that. I've already farmed 21,000 silver. And I'm a brand new character. This is my first time playing Albion Online. And, I'm, and I have 21,000 silver to my name. That's not even... You know, that's like the first quest you do. You get that bag. That bag is only worth 10,000. And it makes you do a group, like, static area. Like a little three-man static zone. Which is stupid to make new players do. But... <sighs> yeah, man. And it just keeps going. Just farming that rough stone. <laughs> oh no, heat a mage, where'd you go? Oh, he's over there. Okay. I thought I lost my stone partner for a sec. Oh no, he's what's he do? Oh no. Maybe I bullied him out of the spot. Maybe he doesn't feel he doesn't he's not a happy little happy little mage anymore. He's <laughs> uh Oh no. He's still over there. Maybe he's taking a break. You know, all this stone gathering, it's got him, uh, he, he's sweating. And now is our time to shine and really get that, that silver per hour increase. You know, brand new character, you have no spec in anything, you have no gear, you have no idea what you're doing. You just pick up rocks off the ground, it's like rust. You just pick up rocks off the ground, you build yourself a stone house, and then you get an AK and you go roaming. Oh no, <laughs> we got a- Oh, he only grabbed a few, okay. Uh, Jericho, J J is that how you say that name, I think? He the mage is back, he, uh, he wouldn't got a sip of water. You know, he wiped the sweat off his brow, and he's back at it again. Uh, with these, uh, the stone harvesting, but I got the double. I got the double harvest right here. Oh, no, I'm gonna get Mr. Jericho's stone, he can't have any, it's all mine. Sorry, Jericho. Uh, I think you're a... Isn't that a... Yeah, that's the name of a of an American wrestler. I don't keep up with American wrestling, or wrestling at all, let's be real. Uh, because wrestling is not real, but, uh, you know, whatever, right? We're at 32,000 silver now, we're doing alright. And, uh, Eat a Mage. Eat a Mage, you know, he, uh, he sprained his ankle, so he's, he's, he's sitting on the bench. <laughs> alright, yes, that's right, this is a video... <laughs> <laughs> about harvesting rough stone. Oh yeah, we're doing it. We're we're harvesting the rough stones. Yep. <laughs> oh boy, let's go get those rough stones. Get them. You, you gotta get them good, man. <laughs> and uh, I'm at 41% carry capacity. I could go make me a bag and carry a little bit more if I want to. You know, we're only at 22 minutes in. Let's see. Brand new character. I really should have just started the video <laughs> at this point. You know, just to really drive home the point of, hey, this is good silver per hour, right? So we, we te okay, here's the thing, right? We started at 15 minutes into the video. So if we stop at 30 minutes into the video and then multiply by four, we get a good amount of how much we can make per hour doing this, which is kind of the whole point of why I'm doing this right now. And and honestly, like, the estimated market value price is lower than what I'm going to sell these for. So, um, yeah. Uh, I'm... <laughs> uh, I have so much silver, I thought about something really stupid, and it's a really dumb idea. But I thought, what if I just bought all the rough stone in the entire game? And, uh, <laughs> it just raised it up to, like, 500. Right? Uh, I'm sure, like, someone would, like, immediately, like, make some phone calls on Discord and get their bots out to just harvest rough stone on islands or something. Oh, that person won. They, I thought I clicked first. Oh, well. And, uh, I would just be left with all this stone that I couldn't do anything with. <laughs> that's why I don't do, that's why I never do that. I don't, I don't like market flipping because bots exist and organized cartel discords exist that kind of, that's their whole job and, uh... I don't, you know, I, I've done it in, like, every MMORPG ever. It was super good in New World. Market flipping in New World was so destructive. I would buy out all the materials on a server, and because at one point in that game's lifespan, because it, it's dead, let's be honest, it's a dead-ass game. Uh, <laughs> like, I would log into a server, there would only be 48 people playing that server, so, and if I'm the richest guy on the server, I just buy everything off the market, and then they have to pay me... Uh, double what I paid for off the market because they still want to craft and they still want to play but I own all the materials and so and they don't want to go manually farm it because that would take too long so uh, it's like pay up and you know a lot of people didn't they were like I'm not buying that from Soul Digi just because he owns it I don't want to give him any more money but it's like they own their their companies in that game own territory and <laughs> so it's 
It's like, they, they were getting everyone's money from the server anyway. I just kind of flipped the script on them. Oh crap, we got a whole bunch of people here. They're all running around in the circle. Nope, never. Hey, he a mage. He's, he's still down there. He's he's hanging out. Oh, you spinning? Bro, this, this lore 29 guy gave me a little spin. Gave me a little spin. He's trying to he's trying to juke me on. Oh, he did. Oh no, he damage is back. Our our main competitor, the only one out here with an actual stone hammer. We're all cavemen, you know, breaking our nails on these rocks, and he's out here being a sophisticated person. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we got more we got more stone grabbers. Oh, I actually I actually yoinked that one before he smashed his hammer on it. All right. <laughs> Uh, let's see, we have five, four more minutes of this, don't worry. I, I'm still being entertaining, right guys? Talking about stuff. Uh, I am King Michael, okay, cool name I guess. <laughs> I am Soul Benji. <laughs> oh man, let's see. <laughs> Rough stone, where are we at? Oh, you chopped the tree. You know, get the stone now. Oh, I stole all three of those from him. Yes, that was a that was a big win. Let's see, I got that one. I got this one. Oh, oh, he's chopping the tree. Oh, I'm telling. We're at fifty-four thousand. Look at that, guys. <laughs> oh, jeez, that's almost two hundred k an hour. You know. <laughs> Uh, and imagine if I was able to get these nodes without like, you know, heat mage over here who he keeps taking breaks, man He's like maybe he's got like carpal tunnel. He's you know, he's cracking his fingers. He's He doesn't want to you know that one thing that happens when you sit down too long your blood clots in your butt and you die I don't know, but um <laughs> Maybe he's uh, he's just looking out for himself. Maybe he's distracted, you know people keep knocking on his door Wanting him to vote for local politicians or something. I don't know what normal people have to do. Maybe he's at work. And he's like, he's got his phone and he secretly grabs some rough stone in, the, in between, like, customers or something. I don't know. He's, let's look at his, his gear. Yeah, his get up. He's got the same get up as me too. <laughs> except for, no, no, he has the same get up. The exact same get up. He didn't eat his uh, carrot, carrot soup though. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, what a Chad. Absolute heated mage Chad ever. Uh, let's see. It'd be kind of funny. Like it's like you make this, or I make. You're not making the video. I'm making the video. I make this video, and years later, I see he'd have made 69 out in the field, and he's like all decked out in full 83, and he's just slaying people left and right. It's like, you know, I, I shed a tear of happiness for him. Oh, we're at 69. Wait, ooh, 69. Everyone's 69 in the chat. This is not a live stream. I like to pretend it's a live stream. Uh, I, I don't know why. I'm just weird, man. Okay, it's really weird to make YouTube videos where you just talk to yourself. You just say you're playing it like when you're playing a video game, your mind can think about whatever, like uh, uh, you know, <laughs> it's just random things. But whenever you're trying to talk and play for a YouTube video, it's just so awkward, man. Cause uh, <laughs> I can just imagine if someone could watch a replay of your life, like say when you die. And you go to the afterlife, there's a replay feature, and other people can, like, spectate your life. And, like, someone's like, I want to see what he was doing on this day at this time. And it's just like, you're just sitting there talking to yourself. And, uh, you, know, you know, the person spectating you, you know, maybe they didn't live in the 20th century. They don't know what a computer is. Or may, do, you, do you get omniscient knowledge when you die? Can you just be like, hey, hey, um, afterlife computer, I want to know everything about all the time periods. And they're like, okay, here you go. And then so they would know what a computer is then or or is time different like is it not linear like say i die and it's like oh man i can't wait to see what happens in 10 centuries from now i wonder what kind of cool video games and movies the humans will make do, do they reference us as the humans do they t or are they still consider themselves human instead of like weird spiritual soul ghost boys or is there even genders when you're dead like who d man so many questions <laughs> Uh, so many, someone should make a YouTube video. <laughs> I died and went to the afterlife. Here's, here's a guide. Or your first day, avoid the frozen yogurt shops. They're a trap. Uh, <laughs> or something. I don't know. That's from that The Good Place movie where, like, it's not quite ice cream. So it's like a soft, slow, annoying torture. Alright, we are at, we're almost like at 80% capacity and... 
Let's see. I got like 10 more seconds, guys. Let's let's freaking go. We got Heat of Mage here. It's coming up. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see. I think this is a pretty damn good run. One more for the road. Okay, we stopping. We earned... <laughs> Throw that out. Let me get a true value here. Okay, so... 72,769. Okay, we're gonna times that by four. 72,769. And then we're gonna times it by four. So it's almost 300,000 an hour. <laughs> oh, it's 300,000 an hour. That's stupid. That's real. There's... <laughs> the funny thing is... Is that there? There's people on Reddit that are like, I could go to a tier eight black zone and skin, and make three hundred thousand an hour. And it's like, bro, I make like eight hundred to a million in, in like thirty minutes skinning. <laughs> oh, they're, they're like proud of three hundred k an hour skinning in black zone. They're, they're, they're proud of that 300k an hour, man. And I, I just almost beat them by making a new character and picking up stone off the ground. Isn't that funny? That's pretty damn funny. All right, this is a focus alt for me. He's got some starter cash. This was a fun video. All right, guys. And you know, you know people will just skip to the end. They're just like, I wonder how much a new player could make per hour. And they're like, they click at the end, 300,000. Oh, okay closes video and then uh yeah they go watch clip shows of twitch streamers instead for 10 minutes which the algorithm's like you know what you like the clip shows better so we're gonna show that to more people and then and then i starve to death and die uh so yeah that's uh that's about it <laughs> i'm swole bingy i hope you had fun uh watching me <laughs> Watching me play this, um, I don't want to go force cross. Ew, always, always go to step cross, man. Bridge watch chads for life. Find a guild? Okay. <laughs> yeah, let's join Ains Al Goad in the Nazarick. <laughs> yeah, look, season four sucked. <laughs> oh, season, look, at, I can just join these people's discords. Like, I can just click this and then I can just jump in their voice chat. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. Um uh, speaking of guilds, y'all should join mine. You have to join my Discord. Link is in the description. You gotta pass a test though. Give me that three day premium so I can sit on it for three days. I'm rotted into town, baby. Let's go. I should have picked I, I could have picked up a bunch of mules before I left, but I, screw who cares. Like this is just a focus care. It's gonna make me 1.5 million anyway, and then it's gonna get deleted. That's this guy's life. He, he lived to pick up rocks off the ground, he's gonna craft me some things, and then he's gonna die. He's gonna be just instantly delete. I hate how new players have this stupid chat window where the looking for group is on by default, because it's just a bunch of gibberish. Like, I can't, I don't understand what they're saying. Like, I understand, looking for group, X-bow, because you're too lazy to type crossbow. Then you got some numbers. Starcraft, healer, map. Cool, man. New players... Why are new players subjugated to that? That's stupid. That's really dumb. The first thing I want to see when I'm a new player is a bunch of lingo that I don't understand. And, um... Looking, looking for members. Hardcore Expedition. As a new player, I'm like, LFM. Looking for members, I guess, if you have MMR experience. And then the new player is like, HCE. Hardcore Entrepreneurs? Like, you don't know what it means, right? You have no clue unless you Google it or someone teaches you because the game isn't going to teach you, right? Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I sat for multiple days without a video idea and I was like, what the hell? I need to figure out money per hour doing something. What's something I haven't done? And uh, we did starting a new character and harvesting uh, the rough stone. So there you go. It's 300k an hour. Uh, you guys know the drill. Make sure you leave a comment because I read all of them. I need something to read. Like, if I refresh my YouTube right now, I haven't had a comment in, uh, two hours. And, yeah, it's, yeah, I haven't had a comment in two hours, guys. What the hell? <laughs> I need something to read. Oh, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna suffer. Uh, but, yep. Let's look at those, uh, let's look at the rough stone prices. Just so this video is, um, if, if they're never this high again, at least I caught it on camera, right? No. Rough stone is currently 174, so I can sell order that for 173, but I don't have... I don't have tax dollars to do that. 
But, um, you know, there's a way to do that, actually. So, here, let's try this. You gotta sell. And then we're just gonna sell, like, maybe 20 of them. There you go. And now we can sell order it and then undercut everybody. And, uh, there you go. So, we did it. We did it, Reddit. <laughs> Please help me. I need 50k. Please help me. <laughs> Please give me 100. Bro, this guy's begging for more. <laughs> uh, anyway. Anyway, guys. Videos every day. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Video on the right. Click it. It's a good one. See you later. Mwah.